Good morning. It is Saturday, April 17th. I'm going for a little morning walk with Ella. But I went to a garage sale this morning and picked up some cool stuff. Went to one garage sale. It was pretty much around the corner from my house. Picked up a vintage transformer in the box and some other cool items also at the end you're going to see what sold today and what i packed today two items sold as soon as i listed them and it paid for everything that i picked up on my previous video the he-man stuff so check out that video stand by <music> Alright, so before we begin, make sure you click like, subscribe, leave me a comment on anything you see um, that you think is interesting. This is my haul for today, April 17th, Saturday. Went early this morning and uh, there was a garage estate sale listed on OfferUp. So, I saw the pictures. There was some very interesting stuff. So, I said, I'm going to hit that one garage sale, and that is probably going to be it for the day. I spent a total of $230. But I think I got some cool stuff. So, let's go through it. So, first off, this 1985 Transformer in the box the box has some wear it is um omega supreme looks complete it's got all the pieces in the styrofoam it's got the booklet um it says it takes batteries i don't know if i'm gonna test it or just sell it like this um but this here is at least hundred dollar item at least if not more with the box now it says he walks on his own red light so i may have to put batteries in it and test it and put it together um i never was into transformers as a kid i think that was uh later on i was already pretty much an adult so i didn't really mess with transformers but um We'll check it out. I don't know. We'll see. But uh, just a quick look up on this. I saw I'm going uh, for $100 plus. Uh, and then this one has the box. So maybe $200. I don't know. We'll see. Next is this NASA uh, framed with vintage patches. This is from... Uh, the Challenger. It's got the photo there. Very cool. Again, this was all in, uh, at that one estate sale, garage sale. This was an estate sale that was ran by the family, so it wasn't a company. Uh, the father passed away a while ago, and then the mother recently passed away, so they're Trying to liquidate, liquidate some stuff. This is a General Lee. And on the back it says. General Lee resignation from the U.S. Army. 1861. Uh, pretty cool. Now I'm assuming these are. Copies. Because. I, I don't think they're. Originals but. I don't know. We'll see. But I just thought that was a cool framed piece. Uh, before I go into this box, let's go over here. So we got some license plates. This is a 1933 California. Pretty roached out. And then these are two California plates. They're a pair. One is roached. The other one's okay from the 1960s. 
FRD962. Pretty cool. This is a, a Hubley model, and this thing is complete. Look at that. Isn't that crazy? Totally complete. Let me see if there's a year on there. Made in the USA. Huh, I don't know the year on that. That's pretty cool. Um, yeah, we'll do the album. So we got a bunch of albums here. Let's turn them around. Uh, so we got the Beach Boys. Bananarama. The Alarm. Let me see if I can put these down here. The Police. Thompson Twins. Two Live Crew. Money Money, uh, Billy Idol. Boingo Boingo. The Cure. The Walk. It's pretty cool. Got some Bowie. Depeche Mode. These are all great, great music. The Cure. Violent Femmes. The Clash. I think I got two of the Clash here. Here's the other Clash. Cut the Crap. Depeche Mode. Now all these, the records are in there. Depeche Mode, and they're in pretty good shape. Here's another Cure 12 inch remix. Why can't I be you? Aha. Uh -huh. uh, what's this one? Oh, this is another Cure, the love song. Great song. It's another Bowie. Changes. Uh, another Billy Idol. And then these two I picked up and didn't realize that the records aren't in there. They're just the. The sleeves so now let's go into this box this box is pretty cool so again 230 for everything so this is a little mail bank um, the lady said she there's nothing in there. the lady said she had this as a kid her um, grandparents gave it to her let me see there's a marking Somewhere in there. So that's pretty pretty old. Got these coin books. These are Lincoln pennies. But in this one is a gold token from 1852. Now it doesn't weigh anything. But it is marked gold. So that's pretty cool. Um, I've sold some of these pennies before and some of them can be valuable It has to be the right ones And then this is another book full of the pennies There's some still pennies there So you have to go through them um, This is a little truck here Let's See who's it made by Maybe Tootsie Toy? Yeah, I think it is a Tootsie Toy. Yeah, Tootsie Toy, Chicago. Um, got some more coins. Now, this one's kind of interesting, that penny there. It's kind of like a silver steel penny. And then there's some more pennies in here. There's some tax tokens. And then this bag is just all silver coins, half dollars, quarters. I'll have to go through them. It's a 1967. We'll go through those. This thing here, I believe, is for a railroad track. New York Central Lines. Very cool, made of metal. So. an old Tonka truck and you know, all this stuff is just dusty and dirty but those are the best things to find it's a Jeep truck huh interesting 
Uh, let's see here. We got uh, some keys. Old skeleton keys. I've done well with keys before. Some old keys there. This is an old, uh, let's see what this says here. Authorized by the Secretary of War. Some kind of pin. Pretty cool. Do a little research on that. These are um, military payment certificates. I've never seen these before. So if anybody knows anything about these, let me know. But uh, I'm assuming they're probably from World War II. Got an old razor. I always do well with razor, razors. Got some knives. Oh, here's another coin. What is this one? Uh, Howard Hughes. Has a little certificate in there. Uh, here's an old shaving razor. Now, this one's pretty cool. I sold this knife. You can't sell this on eBay, though because it's an automatic. But this is a, a pilot's knife from the war. It's a Schrade. Um, I've sold one on Etsy, so I'll probably put that on Etsy. Um, the one I sold previously was in worse shape than this and I got a hundred bucks for it. So, just a pin here. Don't feel stupid wasting your time reading buttons. <laughs> It's a Trevor Hoffman signed card. Trevor Hoffman was a closer for the Padres for many years. I actually have a signed ball from him as well. And these knives here. This is, um, I think it's a straight, oh, saber. This is an old saber knife. And then one of these is a China and one of them is an actual Swiss. So the China would probably just get in my junk pile garage sale, something like that. The Swiss knife I'll, uh, I'll sell. So yeah, I think I, I did very well. Uh, the Transformers is gonna be very good. I think the uh, NASA patches are gonna be very good. The coins are gonna be very good. Not sure about the Robert E. Lee. That could be controversial, but we'll see. Uh, the license plates, oh, and then that, um, that model there is going to be very good and then the albums are just fun i like listening to music so that's going to be fun going through all right like subscribe but stand by i'm going to show you what i sold today and packed up today and sent to the post office two items sold as soon as i listed them from the previous video and uh, basically paid for everything so take a look at that all right, so here are my solds for Saturday, April 17th. This is stuff that sold from yesterday into this morning. It is uh, morning here in San Diego. And these are my sold. And the reason I'm doing this is I wanted to show you two things that sold from my previous video that paid for everything that I bought. So the Living Dead doll, this doll sold uh, I listed it yesterday and it sold within hours. I listed it for $199.99. And that uh, sold quickly. This other thing here I, I listed really quick was uh, this five pack of Maxell cassettes, brand new. And this sold for $27. So these two items paid for everything that I picked up on uh, my previous video, including the He-Man stuff, um, all the little ponies, and all the um, vintage uh, NFL gear. So if you haven't seen that video, check it out. So yeah, pretty good. Other things that sold. This Derek and the Dominoes, it's a two CD set, pretty rare. Um, that sold for $29.99. So CDs do still sell, just have to be the right ones. Sold this um, 
Barbie Ken 1980s rocker. He has his guitar and everything. Sold that for $14.99 plus shipping. Everything's plus shipping. Uh, the CD I picked up in the States, though, I can't even remember when, but did pay more than a couple dollars for it at that. This was a large lot of dolls. I believe I have a video out on that. Uh, profit already made on that, so this is all gravy. Uh, the Silence of the Lambs book. This is a first edition. So first edition books really do well. This is a first edition. I picked this up at a Goodwill just recently, and I paid $5.99 for it. So our Goodwill here close by is kind of like a Goodwill bookstore, but they do sell other stuff. So I paid $5.99 for that, and that sold for $29.99. $29.99 first edition silence of the lambs these little coke license plates there's two one is metal one is plastic and uh, i've had these for quite a while in my store and they finally sold for $12.99 plus shipping and we have two plushes here uh winnie the pooh plushes one is piglet the uh, Disney World, and the other one is a uh, is Roo, kangaroo from the movie Pooh. And those two little plushes, I've had them forever, and it's finally sold for fifteen dollars and forty nine cents. So yeah, this is everything that's going out today, this morning. Like, subscribe, let me know what you think. Thank you. Mm -hmm.